Hey guys, it's your boy Joe Gaze. I'm going to show you how to clip things in OBS from your kick streams so you can somehow get it to your phone and be able to post from your phone under your TikTok, your YouTube Shorts, your Fresh Cut, your Facebook, wherever. I'm going to show you how to do it. It is very easy. So follow this video. If you guys can, please subscribe, like, and comment. I would really appreciate it. All right, here we go. All right, so let's just change the source. First thing you're going to want to do is go to File, Settings. Go to Output, Enable Replay Buffer, which is right there, and then change your replay time to whatever you prefer. I do 45 seconds. Between 30 and 45 seconds is ideal. I also, after you do that in your Output set tab, you're going to go to Hotkeys. It's going to take a minute to load. After you go to Hotkeys, what you do is go to Replay Buffer, and click this and put it whatever you want it to be. Some people have a stream deck, so they use their stream deck to have a hotkey. I use page up one because I never use that key for anything else. It's very simple. Whenever I want to clip things, now all I have to do is press page up. All right, so you have to make sure that's got a hotkey and make sure in your output you enable replay buffer and put it to a timer. All right. Whenever you're streaming and doing your stuff, you're going to want to go and make sure you're, let me move my camera up. Sorry, I want to make sure you guys see this. The start stream is enabled, start recorder, and start replay buffer. The start replay buffer must be on in order for you to clip things during your stream. All right, so when I'm playing, do, 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 and I want to clip something. Oh, I got a really good kill. I want to clip this. I hit page up you got to remember that's my hotkey is page up once I do that the video will now save in your videos tab on your in your computer all right so that is the first step is get OBS set up to do your clips after you do that you're gonna open up your Google or your whatever your web browser you have and use streamladder.com right here all right, so this is Streamladder. You're going to want to upload from computer. You're going to select the video. You must change custom files to all files. You're going to grab your clip that you want. So let's just choose this one. Make sure it's the right one. Boom, bam, boom, boom, bam, boom, boom. You check your, do your whole layout, whatever one you prefer. I like using split or circle face cam. But for this video, we'll use split. You're going to click that. Boom. You want to do wherever you want your face cam. I like it just to get a little bit of me. Boom. You want wherever you want it to select the footage from your game. Edit. So now this is what the clip will look like. So you can add custom text. You can add stickers. You can add animated captions to your clip. And then you can do your upload settings. I always do mine 1080p to 60 frames per second. Just makes it look clearer and nicer. All right, so now we put the clip in there and now we render. So now it's gonna do its thing. It's gonna take a minute. Takes a minute, sorry guys. It's only taken a while because I'm doing 1080p. If you do less than 1080p, it does go faster. Um, Streamladder, I think I pay maybe $12 a month, but I have the gold plan. Plan. I will tell you, I love Streamladder. I am one of those people who post their clips through their phone just because I do a lot of it when I'm on lunch at work or when I'm just chilling in bed. So it's easier for me because I don't have a lot of time to edit content here and there on my computer. So this is how I do it. Um, it seems to work really well. I get really good clips. I'm able to post on YouTube, TikTok, wherever I want throughout the day. It's just very convenient for me. Huge shout out to Streamlighter, guys. If you guys aren't using it, make sure you do. Also, like I said, you have to make sure you have your replay up buffer and OBS on. You got to make sure it's on in your OBS when you are streaming. And it's pretty simple to set up a hotkey. Hit that hotkey. It'll clip your clips. Bam. It goes right to Streamlighter. You just have to upload it from your stream um, from your computer on a stream ladder, 
and it's very very simple all right it's almost done and I'm gonna show you what to do after this and then we'll be ready to go so I got my phone I'm gonna have the camera ready ready Ooh, no, 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 98, 99, 100, and then it gives you options. You can convert another clip. You can download your clip to your computer and upload it through your computer, or what I like to do is save it to your mobile. So now it's going to upload the clip to your phone. I'm going to show you what it does after this. This is the best part. It is a little bit of a longer process when you're waiting for this to go to your phone. But I'm going to tell you, it will save you a lot of time editing in the long run. So definitely try this out if you're one of those people who don't have a lot of time to edit on their computer and want to edit their videos on their phone. Like I said, this is going to be your easiest, best way to do it. Um, personally, it works best for me. So we're still waiting about, what is it, 30 more seconds, uh, 30%, 70%? All right, 70%. I like to do this after my stream when I'm watching people's streams. You know, I have some minutes to get a couple clips in. That way I have them on my phone and I can post them at later time. Um, the quality does look really good when you're able to use a 1080p. Make sure you know your computer set up, your clips are good. All right, we're halfway done. But you got to see, we've been doing this for about six minutes. It takes six minutes. Not even. It probably will take you less time to do this because I did show you some stuff in the beginning. So, we're just waiting for this to kind of do its thing. We're almost there, 30%. Like I said, I still have my camera ready. Oh. 74. It's going to give you a code. All you have to do is scan the code and it will go directly to your phone. It's already formatted for you to post on TikTok and your YouTube shorts. If you want to see what they look like, just go to my TikTok, my YouTube, Joe Gabes, I'm telling you. Can't be any easier than this. All right, so now we're at 99, 100. Bam. There's your code. So now I'm going to scan the code with your with your camera. It will bring you to a website. You hit download. And then I hit, I usually hit download after that. You're just downloading it to your phone. I know you really can't see, but it's very self-explanatory after this. You want to download it. Then there's a little blue arrow on the bottom left. You click that, downloads. You take the video. There's the video right there. And you save it right to your phone. Save video, and now it goes right into my photos. I go to my photos, it is right there. There's the clip with the audio formatted for YouTube, TikTok. Very simple, very simple. Guys, like I said, I'm one of those people who have to post their content through their phones. I just don't have a lot of time to do it on my computer. This is a very simple, easy way. All you need is OBS, Streamladder, and you're good to go. Make sure you set up the hotkey. Make sure you have your replay buffer on. And very easy. If you have any questions, reach out to me. If you guys could, please subscribe to this channel. Watch the full video. Help me out. I would really, really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.